Let's now take a look at the various classes of dye stuff. Fiber reactive dyes form strong covalent bonds, which result in good wash fastness. Different chemistries used for this type of dye display different levels of fixation and resistance after dyeing to such factors as acid, alkali, chlorine, and hydrogen peroxide. Dyeing systems must be set up to minimize what we refer to as hydrolysis, the chemical reaction of the dye with the water. In dyeing, fiber and water are in competition for the dye. This battle between the water and the fiber for dye is resolved by carefully controlling such variables as temperature, pH, and auxiliary chemicals. Reactive dyes require alkali and substantial amounts of salt to create a bond between the fiber and the dye. Based on the low fixation level of reactive dyes, the cleanup afterwards of unfixed dyes and residual chemicals is necessary for good wash fastness. In most cases, the first couple of warm rinses are used to lower the pH to neutral and lessen the amount of salt in the bath. These are followed by hot rinses to complete the removal of unfixed dye stuff. It's important to know the specific characteristics of the specific dyes. Aside from excellent fastness properties, fiber reactive dyes come in a wide range of colors and can be applied with different methods, which are easily automated.